Hello everybody! So today I'm going to be showing all of you how I made my Mafuyu cosplay from Blend S. And of course this would also work for any of the Blend S characters if you want to make your own cosplay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I recorded vlogs throughout the process of me making this, but I also wanted to make a video breaking down how I made it, so I figured I would combine the two so some of this will be some fun vlogs, some of this will be me talking and explaining, trying my best to explain. So yes, let's get started. Sorry, I keep looking at myself. It's weird to record in cosplay, I haven't done this before. Also, my gloves smell. Okay. Hello friends, today I am starting a cosplay question mark. We are going into Joanne's to get the beginnings of our blend S cosplays. <laughs> if S blend, blend S blends. But we're gonna get kind of the beginnings just to see how we can make it. I'm looking at myself. Yes, but. So the first thing I made wasn't the first thing I finished, but the first thing I guess I started working on was the skirt. Obviously I don't have it on right now, so I can try and show you. And it is sprinkly. I should have ironed it. So it is now March 22nd. SlapperCon is in like a week. And I need to make this into a costume now. Oh boy. <laughs> Starting up with just ironing it. This is a ton, ton, ton of yellow fabric. I'm gonna try and make the pleated skirt maybe today if I can or over the next two days and then make the shirt once I'm back home. So let's do it. So I currently have a deconstructed skirt. I'm gonna hem the fabric and then add a black stripe and then I'm gonna be box pleating it. I'm using a tutorial online, so I'll go ahead and put a link in my bio to this tutorial. Obviously, it's not going to look like this, but hopefully it will look good. So I basically made what was supposed to be a box pleated skirt. However, I completely messed up um, and now you're gonna get to learn from me, so this is great. So when I was making my box pleats, I was following a tutorial online that I will link in the description and it was for like a more fashionable version of a box pleated skirt and not like school uni uniform you know, style version of a box pleated skirt. So it only had me fold under the pleats about like one inch. In reality, I should have folded under two, like around two inches on each side or about the same length as the outer pleat because that would have helped it hold the pleat shape better. However, I didn't do that. So it didn't hold the pleat shape as well. And I attempted to help with that by sewing down along the inside of the pleats just to kind of like attempt for it to hold the shape better. Um, of course, now it's wrinkly, so it's not holding the shape at all, but didn't work super well. This also, I just put a zipper in it um, that's kind of an invisible zipper and I have waistband with a little clip on it to hold it in place. I also made this a little bit small for me so it was a bit tight, but I think it ended up looking fine in photos because the apron pretty much covers up most of it in the front. So that was my first, first learning experience. The second was making this shirt, which was, what a journey. So it is now, oh I need to look. <laughs> It is now Monday, March 26th, and if this part of my mouth looks really funky, it's because I got three fillings today. So it's still numb down here, which is just a crazy feeling. If you've never had your mouth numbed, this is not my first time. <laughs> it's the weirdest thing ever, and it, you just you talk so weird because your muscles are like, what's going on? <laughs> okay, um, I have a pattern for the blouse I'm making. I'm currently cutting it out. I'm hopefully gonna cut all the fabric today as well and maybe get started on sewing it. I am feeling kind of iffy about this costume. I'm hoping I can finish up the blouse tomorrow and then make my apron and then decide what I want to do if I like the skirt I made or not because I'm feeling really iffy about it and I think I'll have enough fabric to make another one if I don't like it. I just don't necessarily want to have to make another one, but we will see. Oh my gosh, my mouth is just so weird. It feels so weird. <laughs> So Kyla did my makeup last night and I I don't have makeup remover because I don't use any waterproof makeup. So there's, um, it's still hanging out a little bit. I've washed my face three times. So without some nice rosy cheeks. But let's do a progress update. It is now the 27th. Con is so soon. Um, and I have all my pieces cut. I've ironed my interfacing. I'm dropping my instructions on the floor. 
but I'm sewing together the blouse right now and I'm making pretty good progress. I'm feeling okay about it. I should be getting my gloves in the mail today, which I will be adding stripes to. Also, I discovered this, like, this is probably really simple and silly for me to be excited about, but I'm one of those people that I have a hard time like focusing on which line on the sewing machine I'm supposed to sew to, but if you put down a piece of painter's tape, then it's super easy to see where you're supposed to like be sewing at and where the seam allowance is. And that just helps me so much because I get very distracted. Things are going okay. I'm feeling a bit insane, but I think I'm gonna feel more insane tomorrow. So I'm hoping I make a lot of progress today because I think tomorrow will be dedicated to making some aprons. Didn't give myself much time for this, but that's just how life goes. I, ugh, I also just have makeup on my face. Wow. <laughs> so I have the fronts and backs all sewn together. It's fitting over my sweatshirt, which means it'll fit me just fine and be comfortably loose. Um, the back looks cool, but I can't really show you while I'm recording this way. I also washed my face again, and I think the makeup's gone. I made everything just with like basic cotton fabric, basically, because I thought it would be most comfortable and show the color in a way that I like. This is also what I consider to be an accurate color for the character. So I use this shirt pattern. I'm gonna write it right here because I don't have it in my brain. And I basically followed it, excluding the sleeves and the collar. All right, so I now have it up on a hanger. And I almost have the top done. So it took me like an hour to make and attach this collar. The pattern was not helpful at all for that. So all I have left for this is to add the sleeves, hem the bottom, and add the buttons, which will be a pain, I'm sure. With the sleeves, I am using a sleeve pattern that was from a McCall's Costumes set. And then I am making my own cuffs just made my own pattern super quick for this. I mean, it's just basically a rectangle. I am also right now, just because I have dark thread on my machine, adding a stripe to the bottom of the gloves. These are just white adult gloves and I'm adding black ribbon to them, which makes them a lot harder to put on because I didn't want there to be any visible stretch because I'm just using black ribbon still. So yes, that's where I'm at. It's been a very, slow tedious process but i'm making a good amount of progress and i'm hoping to have at least everything on the blouse um if not done with the blouse by tonight that's my plan Ooh. the collar i obviously did different because i wanted it to be a different color than the rest of the shirt and the way the pattern was set up this wasn't the best one for this style of shirt just because um it wanted me to do the collar in a different way than i did i also had a really really hard time putting on the collar. I am kind of happy with how it looks, except for, of course, this overlap section here, which looks a bit funky. The sleeves I made using the sleeve pattern from a different pattern, which is here. And then the cuff I just did by um, basically making a rectangle using some interfacing on it. So it stayed nice and stiff, adding the stripe, all that, using it as the cuff for the sleeve. I'm sorry, I'm realizing now this isn't the best explanation. Sewing is sometimes a hard thing for me to explain. I always like sleeves at this stage because they can stand up on their own and I think that that's really funny. I also am really happy with how they look. I'm hoping um, the length is good and that they look nice when I put them on this bad boy, which is the next step. Ooh. So it now has its sleeves attached. So all I need to do is hem the bottom and add the buttons. That is quite exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slip it on over my sweater and see what it looks like. So it's looking really ridiculous over my sweater. I'm also very tired, um, cause it's like 9 p.m. past nine now. But we have a good, uh, good start going on. I also have a pleat in the back, which I'm proud of. It's the little things. Maybe I should take off my shirt and actually try it on. Okay. All right, so this is what I have. Um, I'm happy with the sleeves. I'm not super happy with the collar, but I think it's just gonna be something I'll have to go with. Um, I think everything will look better like once I have the skirt on, so it'll look a bit more form fitting. And of course, I still need to add the buttons, but I'm making a good amount of progress and I look very tired, so I'm gonna go to bed soon. <laughs> so I'm making buttonholes for the first time. Um, what a journey, what a mess. I'm not having fun. I guess I have just four more of them to do though, but it just doesn't look that good, let's be honest. 
And with the shirt, I'm actually, aside from the collar being kind of janky, I'm incredibly happy with this. I think it's gonna look nice with the skirt. You can see all the buttons. Um, it fits delightfully. I actually have a tie-dye shirt on underneath though, so you can see that through. Hopefully, I'll just wear a white camisole underneath, so that'll be fine. But I am just so, so happy with this. Look at this. Um, but yeah, both ends of my sleeves are gathered, so that's what gives it a really nice puffy look, which I also thought was good for a character like Mafuyo, who's supposed to be really small. And even though I myself am not small, I am pretty tall, <laughs> which people like to point out to me <laughs> when I was in the character. They're like, you're, you're too tall. And I'm like, it's true, I am. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it would be good to help emphasize that like this looks kind of big on me. Um, this is probably one of my favorite shirts I've ever made for myself, just in terms that it like fits really well and it's really comfortable. This cosplay was super comfortable. Overall, I really, really found that I liked wearing it. So the next thing I made, which I actually got to make with my best friend, we made them at the same time, were our aprons. <laughs> the reference material. For me, an apron. It's going green. <laughs> <Is> it? <laughs> Two days before the con? <laughs> We're not progressing. Going. <laughs> Whew. This is wrinkly now too. I need to take better care of my costume stuff post con. So I love what we did with these. We basically, we made half circles, cut them out, and then we made really small like pleated ruffles. We decided to pleat them because we thought it would look more accurate to how the character's aprons looks. And they just look so nice and so neat when it was ironed, of course, now it's not ironed. So it looks a bit of a mess. Looking good! So I'm sewing the waistband for my apron. Callie is not having a fun evening with the ruffles, which have been just living their dream. Which is okay, because it's all just learning. You're done! You're done! <laughs> There's just the rest of the costume to make. <laughs> and then we made waistbands for it as well so we could just tie it off in a bow at the end again we made these just like using our own pattern i think we measured like just the length that we wanted the apron to cover from based off of how it all looked on the characters if that makes sense so yeah this is one thing we did just ourselves i think there are tutorials online for making aprons if you want to make one yourself <laughs> so this is my progress for the night, I've completely finished my shirt, adding the buttons, which were a bit of a pain, um, and then made my apron, which is just looking very cute. I feel very cute right now. Thank you, Callie, for recording me. You babe. <laughs> Here is the babe. <laughs> the babe. And she finished putting the piece on her So progress is being made, even though it's slow. Myself. This is my second time making an apron. Um, I love this one. I love the ruffles. I think pleated ruffles look very good for this costume. <laughs> so today I finished the skirt and now it has a zipper, which hopefully you can't see. So I have my gloves. I need to add the strike to my socks, but I also have my shoes. I put on my wig just so I felt very like full. Um, so yeah, from here I just need to add the stripes to my socks and I need to make my little head thing. And I'm done. Isn't that fun? We're having fun here. This is so fun. I feel adorable. <laughs> so this is Callie. Woo! I broke one of the buttons while sewing them on. So one buttonhole is missing a button, which we need to add because it looks funky otherwise. But hers is pretty much done. She needs shoes and socks and to cut her bed. Beautiful. Oh, you look adorable. So then I'm gonna go on to the gloves. The gloves, oof, I just ordered off of Amazon. They're just basic adult like party white gloves. And then I sewed on a ribbon stripe. These were really kind of a pain um, because the ribbon that we use has no stretch and 
didn't use any thread with stretch or anything so you just kind of have to like shimmy it on to your hand but it looks fine when on so that was a bit of a learning experience but yes so I made two two of these for me two of these for a friend um, if I could do them again I'd probably use elastic and elastic thread just so they have stretch when they're easier to put on and then the last thing was oh no this of course so this headband was actually made using a pattern that my friend who cosplayed Kaho with us made and it's kind of like a straight straight and then it kind of points and points if you look at the characters designs these are weird like it's weird to understand what's going on so we just tried to make it as accurately as we could to what we could see in the show and then basically just made a little like loop so i could go ahead and thread the headband through it and then just pop it on and it has basically the same look as from the show and then the last but not least would have been the tights or socks those were a bit of a mess we couldn't find over the knee plain white socks to add a single stripe to a lot of them had two stripes on them and we want to try and make it as accurate as possible didn't end up happening so we ended up using um, just like these white stockings that had lace around the top of the legs that also had some elastic on the inside so they stayed up really well i do have a pair of white over the knee socks that i might try and add a black stripe to just so i can do that if i want to wear this cosplay again but yeah that's basically my breakdown of this entire costume. So I don't know how I've done the vlogging stuff. It might come now. It might have already came. This might have all been happening. We'll see how this all goes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions about this cosplay, I will try my best to answer them. Feel free to ask them in the comments down below. I'll also try and list all links to all the patterns and fabric and stuff that I used in case you are curious. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you all had a fantastic soccer con or a fantastic convention if you're going to one or if you're cosplaying blend us let me know can we look super cute together <laughs> all right thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed this video feel free to give it a like or subscribe if you would like some more fantastic cosplay content selling it well today thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all next time Bye bye